Right, so the lions have just gotten up and started running because the impalas are going crazy right here. I wonder if there's not maybe a leopard or another lioness somewhere close by. But all the lions you can see are up and moving. So they've heard these impalas alarm calling and they know that something is afoot. So everybody is up and walking. Now I can only see four lionesses and then the six cubs that are here. So we're going to try and keep up with them. But the impalas just went crazy out of nowhere. So it seems like they definitely have seen something. Now I just want to let somebody know on the radio that's right there. Abel, Abel, Abel. Abel, you got those Impala's alarm calling. These uh, Ingala up and moving now straight towards the Impala's alarm calling on the fire break. You can see the lionesses are trotting down the road. So I'm going to just try and see if I can't get up with them. So I'm sure, I wonder if there's not a leopard here somewhere that has just caused a bit of a ruckus. I, trying to see where the impalas are but you can see the two lionesses here where are the impalas now there's another lioness off to my right now the problem is is that they're going right to the boundary so I hope they're not gonna cross the boundary now that let's see they are trotting they've seen something you can see here they're busy running off to my side there the impalas are running look the impalas are running right here so the impalas are shouting just on our northern side here. Let's see what happens. Now the lions are more interested in where the impalas are alarming, not at actually hunting the impalas themselves. But the problem is, is this is going to take them over the boundary and into the other side. But let's just see, maybe we get lucky. There the lions are running up. I wonder if there's not a leopard here. One of the lionesses running. So the impalas are alarming further north of us, and the lionesses are all running in there to go and check what's happening. What they know is that sometimes, if there's a leopard that's around, it could have caught an impala, and that's going to then cause them to be able to go and rob that leopard and be able to find it. So, look, you can see the lionesses moving. There's another one coming across the road now. So there we go. See, she's following the alarm calls. But there's definitely another predator here. The lion, the impalas went crazy all of a sudden. And you can hear them. They're still alarm calling to our north. I wonder what's going on now. Unfortunately, I can't go any further to investigate. But I'm sure that there, if there's not another lion, that there is a leopard here. Impalas don't go crazy like this for anything but lions and leopard. And here come the rest of the lionesses. So that's four lionesses that have gone over. And I'm sure the cubs are going to start coming now. What I'm hoping though is that the cubs decide to stay behind and to sleep on the southern side here. And these lionesses go and investigate and if they find nothing that they come back to their cubs and that we can stay with them. But it's definitely, they're busy chasing more impalas up at the top there. All I can see is lions moving through the bush. And you can actually see the Inkuma females. I'm going to roll forward a little bit. I don't know if you can still see them through there Craig. You can just see the backs of their ears. They're actually approaching with quite a lot of caution because at the end of the day, they don't know. Maybe there's another pride of lions here and they've got to be quite careful. You can see them, they're all looking around and they're being nervous. We also know that the tortured pride does head into this area sometimes. So that's also why they're approaching with a bit of caution. Now Abel, who is with us just now, he's going to go in and try and just see if he can't find out what's going on. I can see the cubs have all laid down to my right. They're far in the distance back where we left the pride originally, which is good news for us because if the females don't find anything, they're then going to come back to where we are. But isn't that amazing? It just goes to show you that on days like this where you've got weather like this and wind that's blowing and sort of gusting, it's often good just to sit tight with animals because there can be activity at any situation or any time and so it's worth just being a bit patient. But those impalas are in alarm calling just a bit too far for us to be able to see. That's the last lioness just disappearing towards the back end there. The impalas also sound like they're calming down a bit so maybe whatever is around 
has moved on slightly and like I say I'm hoping what's going to happen is that these adult lionesses are going to come back and come back towards their cubs and then settle down again but there's definitely another predator around here which is very very cool ah leopard behind us there we go <laughs> Now what's going to be interesting is to see how the leopard behaves when it, if it walks in towards the cubs. Just trying to see where it is. Craig, if you see it, let me know. There it is. It's busy running away from us. I can't see which leopard it is. So I'm going to try just quickly get in here. But it is moving quite quickly. It looks like it could be a female leopard. I'm just trying to get through a big... Oh, come on. Wrong gear. <laughs> this is what happens. It all goes so crazy that you end up losing your mind a little bit. And it's just all happening. Isn't this amazing? Lions and leopard together. Oh, can't we get more lucky? This is amazing. I can't see where it's gone from here. Craig, can you see anything? The last I saw was it ran into this direction here on the right hand side. But it ran, oh, I don't know where it's gone from here. Just trying to see if there's any tracks crossing the road. But I don't see anything. I would have thought this leopard would have tried to maybe find a higher ground sort of advantage to be able to see what's going on. Now it's difficult because the grass here is so perfect for a leopard just to camouflage. As soon as that leopard lies down, it's going to blend in very, very easily. It's also going to be very nervous because it's just bumped into a whole bunch of lions and I have no idea who it was. It looked like a young female, oh, I mean a female leopard, could have been a young male. I don't know, it was just too quick to be able to see what it was. But at the last I saw it was running through this little area here must have crossed the road just trying to see right I'm just trying to see if there's any sign of it here just behind this tree no I don't see anything Craig you see anything no it's definitely gone over the road right so while we try and calm this all down to a panic and see if we can't find this leopard let's go back to byron who's still with his nice and sedate owl